Jeszcze ma się z tej strony Rady z Dice. Gramy Vampires of Undergrowth, ale ja będę wyłączyć mikrofon, robimy ostatnią misję, bo dalej jestem chory i wiem, że te kasznanie strasznie brzmi i nie poczynię z tym nagrywałem i bardzo przepraszam za to, więc będzie to po prostu bez komentarza, tak? Ja wyłączam, bo ciągle mi się smarka, kicha i kaszle i źle to po prostu później brzmi. Wiem o tym bardzo i no cóż, spaliłem to, tak? Więc wyłączam się i gramy w kolejną misję. This Macrotermes bellicosis termite king and queen are one of three reproductive pairs that founded colonies here. Vegetation is less abundant on the savanna than in the jungle, and with these three mounds being so close to one another, there isn't enough food to sustain them all. Eventually, two of them will be outcompeted. Similar to leafcutter ants, Macrotermes are fungus farmers. Dead plant matter is first harvested and eaten by the workers. This initial digestion provides little in the way of nutrition, serving mainly to churn and mix the plant matter with fungal spores. The fecal substrate is then excreted and sculpted into an energy-rich fungus cone to be fed to the rest of the colony. Termite raiding Matabeliants are active in this area, and given the abundance of termites here, the Matabeli are unlikely to exercise restraint when pillaging any one mound. The threat of annihilation from both starvation and predation will set these otherwise amicable termite colonies against each other. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers.
The termites must fight. Dawn breaks and a Matabili raid is imminent. They're heading straight for the northern mound. As the midday sun scorches the savannah, the termites should go to ground. Out in the open, they won't survive for long. The termites must defend themselves. Just as harvesting operations resume, the Matabili begin their approach. Tonight they raid the Southern Mound.
The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. The termites will fight to the death. The termites must fight. Like clockwork, the Matabili have returned for their tribute. The raiding column is bound for the central termite colony.
The sand around the mound is heating under the midday sun. Termites wandering far from the safety of the nest will dry out quickly. The termites will fight to the death. The termites will fight to the death. The day is drawing to an end, and under the crimson mantle of twilight, the Matabili march forward. They will strike at the central mound. The termites will fight to the death. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood.
The termites must fight. It's breakfast time for the Matabili. They have selected the Northern Mound for their morning raid. The undergrowth is baking in the midday sun. Insects ill-equipped to withstand the high temperatures will fall victim to heat stroke.
The termites must defend themselves. The sun has set, and without fail the Matabili launch their raid. They will arrive imminently at the southern mound. The termites will fight to the death. The insatiable Matabili raiders pressed with fervor to the center of the southern mound, executing the queen and king in their chamber. Only two active mounds remain. With only two colonies remaining, the northern termites mount a desperate and risky offensive against the central mound. One last ditch effort to weaken their neighbor and secure their place as the sole food supply to the Matabili. Termites from rival colonies have met in battle. Soldiers will no doubt be attracted to the commotion. The termites will fight to the death.
Dawn breaks and a Matabili raid is imminent. They are heading straight for the central mound. The termites must defend themselves. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. As the midday sun scorches the savanna, the termites should go to ground. Out in the open, they won't survive for long. The termites must fight. The termites will fight to the death. The termites will fight to the death. Thank you. 
Just as harvesting operations resume, the Matabili begin their approach. Tonight, they raid the Northern Mound. The termites must fight. Matabili ants aren't the only swarm raiders to be worried about. African stink ants have established extensive tunnel networks in this area, and recent excavations have revealed the termites. With the northern and southern mounds emptied, the remaining termites inherit complete control of the local vegetation. Feeding unhindered, they will outgrow the threat from the raiders and extend their mound into a towering savanna fortress. A monument worthy of a great termite empire. Crumbs everywhere. Who's been bringing food into the lab? <laughs>